This patch is going to challenge your listening and sensitivity skills to the max because I'm going to create a feedback patch inside the spectral processor. And then we're going to ride it like a bucking bronco with control voltages from location on the 223 kinetic input port. At first, sounds are going to jump in as feedback does into the soundscape. But if you go slowly enough, and sensitively enough, you'll find amazing timbral universes inside just a little shift of location. This is a simple feedback patch. Uh, all is going back into odd. Odd is going to one channel of the 206. Even is going to the other channel. I have them actually panned hard right and hard left. And then by using the R and S pads down here, uh, I can crossfade between, I just have them each going to a separate band pass filter. So it's this. So we can play the feedback, and the L pad is on location. In this next patch, I take the control voltage out of number 10 on the 223 and stack three banana jacks on there and go to three different bandwidths. However, for the third bandwidth, I go through a voltage processor because these higher bandwidths tend to get really harsh, so I damp it down with some form of control voltage processor. Control voltage 10 from the 223 is mapped to keypad L. Likewise, I map keypad M and stack three banana jacks on that and go to three different bandwidths. Not pictured is the 250 sequencer, which is going to a 261 waveform generator and has a little sequence that comes in later on in the demo. One final exploration. I hope this sparks some ideas. Have fun 